In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Matthias. He was the saint who was replaced Judas. And through an act of the Holy Spirit, the apostles were getting together to be able to bring together the, uh, to choose Matthias so that they could have 12 apostles again. Because that foundation of the church is so important. And so we ask for St. Matthias' intercession within our lives today. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit broke beforehand and spoke through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us, and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John, until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostle ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his group and his people. 
Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the love of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun, the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat. <clears throat> he raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if I do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Your ears should be ringing because this is the third time that we've read this gospel almost within a week. Last week on Thursday we read this gospel for a weekday, then on a Sunday for our Sunday gospel, and then we read it again on the feast day of St. Matthias. Maybe the church is trying to tell us something about loving one another, how important that is. That I have, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, remain in His love. And we recognize that that's what our faith is all about. We even recognize that even our morality, our commandments, they stem from that principle of love. That everything comes from God out of love, as, as an outpouring of love, and that we are called to return to God out of love and not to love our neighbor in turn. So I think the church is trying to tell us something by having us read this uh, three times in almost one week. But today, as we read from the Acts of the Apostles, 
and we read about how Matthias was chosen so that uh, they could have 12 apostles again, and it's making me reflect on the gift of holy orders because uh, this month is uh, going to be full of ordinations. Just tomorrow we'll have Joe Tokes ordained as a, as a deacon here at the 5.30 Mass. And then in a week on Saturday, uh, Greg Gollin, our own parishioner, will be ordained as a permanent deacon at St. Joseph's Cathedral. It makes me reflect on holy orders and the, the gift of diaconate, the gift of priesthood, and how the Lord chose uh, these holy men of the apostles to be able to be the foundation, the foundation of the church and how the holy orders was passed on from, from, from person to person through the laying on of hands. And that same gesture is used today within, within the rites of ordination of diaconate and priesthood. Tomorrow, Bishop Mike will lay his hands on Joe's head. And, that's a, and that symbolizes that the Holy Spirit will be upon Joe. That now he is going to be, before he was Joe, a seminarian, now Joe as a deacon in service to the people. And um, for, for me, it's just uh, reading this reading today makes me think about these beautiful gifts and about how the Lord continues to send His Holy Spirit to inspire vocations, even in the midst of the difficulties of our culture today, in the midst of the challenges even in, within our church, the Lord is still raising up people. The, the apostles were probably anxious and worried and wondering, what are we going to do? But they trusted in the Holy Spirit as they were able to choose Matthias. Similarly, within our world, we see a world that doesn't have a lot of love. And you just have to turn on the TV and you see there's not a lot of love. But we see, even within our own anxiousness and worry, the Lord continues to raise up men and women and to be able to be examples of love. And so I see that very clearly within this month as we celebrate these ordinations and we continue to pray for Joe, for Greg, and then on June 5th we'll have our, the priesthood ordinations and we pray for uh, all, all those deacons about to be ordained as priests as well. We now stand and offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, trusting in His merciful love that He will hear and answer our prayers. For church leaders, may they be filled with the love of Christ as they carry the responsibilities of their offices. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those called to lead in government and civil society, may they be given the grace to act in authentic love, especially for the poor and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by chronic illness, May the Holy Spirit be with them and grant them the strength they need each day. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord help us to know our calling more deeply and be rooted ever more firmly in the love that chose us first. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for Joe Tokes and for Greg Gollin, we're going to be ordained deacons. We pray for many blessings upon them in their preparations and within their future ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in Israel and Palestine. We pray that the Lord will instill his peace and that our brothers and sisters there will be safe. We pray to the Lord. We pray today for Mary and Harry Shaughnessy, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they rest in the eternal love of God. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias. And through them, strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <clears throat> Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. An act of spiritual communion. The body of Christ. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray.
Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through Blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to, sh- to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. At 7.45 today, in about 15 minutes, we're going to have the renewal of wedding vows for uh, Don and Sam Corrizado. It's uh, their 51st wedding anniversary, so if you get to see them today, please wish them a happy anniversary. And uh, I believe that you'll be able to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy in time before 7.45, too. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone.